I'm gonna share with you some products that I love and I'm gonna explain to you why I love them and why I recommend them for you. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do the random ones, um, like interdispersed throughout the video. Um, so it's gonna be like beauty product, hair product, and then like a random thing, okay? Um, so first things first, I love these little, um, <laughs> I know it's so dumb, but I don't know. I feel like some things just spark joy, you know? And if they do, then who cares if it is dumb? It is dumb, but it, I, I just enjoy them. These little pens, but yes, they're pens, but I use them as microphones for my videos because I just think that's so funny and cute. That's it. So they were a dollar. They were a great investment because now I will use them in my videos for fun. Okay? Okay. But I'm going to use this one because I like this one right now. So, um, so that's the first thing. And then, um, 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 I have a lot of stuff in front of me, so I'm just trying to show, show you the things that I like. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, I, this is my preferred, like, this is my go-to look. Okay. A cat eye. Very simple gal. Okay. If I'm going to wear makeup, it's literally just going to be eye makeup and then maybe lipstick or blush. Okay. Um, I don't typically wear foundation um but the other day my coworker did put foundation on me and she like did a soft glam look on me and it was really cute maybe i'll put a picture in it okay picture of it right here maybe maybe not um okay so i have um my go-to eyeliner um it's honestly it's any eyeliner that has a felt tip okay so it's, it looks like this it's called covergirl perfect point plus liquid liner i am using a different eyeliner recently um and i do like it but this is my go-to um so yeah oh wait there here's the camera um so yeah let me move my microphone really quick um so this is what it looks like it's a felt tip um eyeliner so I like the felt tip because it's easy to manipulate, right? So you can do a thinner line, but if you do it like this, you can do a thicker line, right? Or you can do, oh my gosh, I need, I need more, hold on. I'm like, look how easy it is. And it's literally not working the way it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, you go, you can go thin to thick, right? So I just find that it's easier to manipulate. One thing that I will say is that, um, sometimes these dry out really fast and they get like crusty and hard. So that's very annoying. Um, but the one that I use that I'm using currently is not this one. Um, it's actually like one that's way cheaper and I just wanted to see how it would work. On that one, I would say that the tip is not as fine. So it is like, sometimes I do kind of put too, too thick of a line, okay? But yeah, this is one of my favorite products in the whole wide world. I've been using it since I was a wee lass. It's just a felt tip liner from CoverGirl, okay? Um, <clears throat> another thing that I've been using like more frequently makeup wise, um, and I used to use all the time is the NYX soft matte lip cream and I do use it on my lips but it can be really drying um but it's really easy like to apply and it this color is more of like a nude so I like it as a as a um lip cream and I used to use this um a lot of NYX products especially the like matte products um but yeah, this is what it looks like. I used to use them on my lips. And this is really old. Like, I don't even know how old this is. I think I bought this for myself on one of my birthdays, like, really long time ago. So I probably shouldn't use it, but also it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. Um, I probably shouldn't use it, but I still use it, okay? Um, oh yeah, can you see my sad boba? <laughs> my mom bought me that. I love it. I use it as a pillow sometimes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really like this because it's very silky and the way that I use it, have been using it lately, but look, 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 
okay look at that oh um it's very smooth okay and then you can make it more subtle by blending it out you can do a blush lip if you want but yeah the way that i use it is that i've been using it as a blush as a as a cream blush um i just think it's a cute little you know but it's just cute um and then let's show you a random thing that i products that i love okay this little guy you guys know that i like okay maybe you don't know because i'm not important like that but if you didn't know now you know i do really like the office and i got this from five below i don't know if you guys have a five below where you are but we have one here in alabama and we're getting one in the neighboring town so i'm so excited for that but usually we go like an hour or like i guess like 45 minutes away to go five below but yeah well i went to five below and i got this and it's just it's funny and i keep it in my room they're mints i guess i could actually open this but i don't want to because i feel like it's not going to stay the lid's not going to stay on but it's it's a mint and it's cute look i just love it it's my dundee award i don't know what i got the dundee award for but i got the dundee award okay um do you guys like the office i like the office i think it's very funny and it makes me cry sometimes okay i'm gonna put this back oh yeah he I, he stays in my office the little dundee award okay so that was my random thing Whew. okay what else do we have so more makeup things um i just started trying this but i really like it except the only thing is it's kind of dried out now and it, but it's okay it was only like a dollar um let me explain what it is first oh my gosh so it's just a little it's called a brow rake it's from la uh, la colors which is a like drugstore brand and it's really cheap i got this from dollar general do you guys know what dollar general is i'm sure you do um but i like it because it's supposed to like mimic like your hairs okay this is what it looks like at the bottom so when it actually has freaking when it actually can dispense stuff it looks really good but it's dried out but if you can look it has t uh, felt tips like this and it's supposed to mimic your actual brow hairs um so it's less like blocky which i have pretty thick brows and i've been growing them out and i did fill them in a little bit today um so yeah i just like this product i think it's pretty simple to use but my only thing is that it it um it runs out really fast and it dries out really fast but it's it's like a dollar or two dollars whatever it's called a brow rake soft comb tip brow pen from la colors if you are interested in trying it out um okay that's another cool thing that i like another product that i like okay eyebrows another eyebrow thing my sister put me onto these it's the elf it's kind of dirty don't judge me it's embarrassing it, it's in my makeup bag and it's kind of dirty okay um it's the elf instant lift brow pencil and it's just like a crayon but basically on this end is like nothing because i used it all but i have another one anyway this is what i typically use for my brows um it's you just pencil it on and it has like a thinner point to it like a crayon and then if it gets to where it's like too full you can brush it out with this brush and i like to keep it this so i could keep the spoolie um yeah this is another brow product that i really like and i um i liked it so much when she showed me that she was using it that i was like oh i'm gonna buy that but i'm gonna buy two of them so i'm glad i did because i mean they do last a long time i feel like this lasted me a year um so but i don't do my brows every day um but it lasted me a year okay um so i think that's all the makeup stuff that i have um let's see let's do another random product okay let me show you these candles so here's the candle that i got during the holidays and i freaking love how it smells it's just an iced gingerbread scented candle and it has it's made with essential oils and it was literally a dollar and i got it from dollar general and it's just iced gingerbread and i don't know what it is about it but it smells so freaking good and here's another candle and this one is from oh i like that noise this one's from walmart 
I freaking love this. Josh hates the smell of this candle, but I don't care because it smells really good. Okay, so it's the Hazelnut Cream um, Mainstays Candle, Mainstays Candle, and okay, there's dog hairs and stuff in there, but just ignore that, okay? I have two dogs. Hair is gonna get everywhere. Um, it has three wicks in it. I think this was like five bucks, so it's lasted me a long time, and I like to use it in my office and um, whenever I'm trying to do work and stuff, because then I feel more productive for every, for whatever reason. Um, so those are the two candles that I've been enjoying. Um, and then let me show you this because, um, it also reminds me of that smell. So Sally, we recently found out that she most likely has an autoimmune, um, disease, unfortunately. So she has been taking medication. She takes, um, a low dose of steroid every other day. Um, and with the autoimmune, disease that she has she gets very dry and patchy skin especially on her nose um with her medication it's been helping a lot but before we knew that she had an autoimmune um disease and that was what was causing the issues with her um her skin um and her irritation and stuff um we she would have a really dry nose. We would use um, this on it. I bought it because there's a YouTuber that I watch. I don't remember her name, but I do know that her dog's name is Yuki. I'm so sorry if you somehow stumble upon this and like, I'm not important, like I said, but <laughs> if you somehow stumble upon this and I don't know your name, but I know your dog's name, please don't be offended. Like, I think you're a very funny lady. Okay, and I love your dog, and I feel like you take very good care of your baby. Um, and that is why I saw this and I was like, I need to get that for my dog because you're great. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's from Pet Head. She recommended this, and I love her videos, and I feel like she takes really good care of her dog. And I just feel like she's a reputable person because she literally treats her dog like we treat our dogs, like our children pretty much. Um, so I thought that it would be beneficial for her to get to use this and I, it does hydrate her skin on her nose and on her paws um, because she was having really dry paws um, during the summer too. Um, but yeah, uh, it's called paw butter. I got the oatmeal kind because it, I wanted to also help with any itchy spots that she was having. So I thought that it would be good for her. It has natural oils and extract in it, but okay, there's gonna be dog hair in this, okay? Because it's for my dog and I put it on my dog, but this is what it looks like. And it smells really good. I like how it smells. And sometimes I feel like I could put it on my skin. Like, would that be bad? I feel like, I feel like if I put it on my skin, it's natural, right? But anyway, I use it for her. Um, but it has coconut oil in it, oatmeal ex extract, um, and it's just a bunch of other natural stuff. But it's pa for paws and noses, and I put it on her hot spots too. The only thing I will say with this is that she likes to lick it, but I don't blame her because it smells really good. Um, but it's nourishing for her paws and her skin. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm trying to, I need to sort through what I have shown you and what I haven't shown you. Um, okay. Okay. I use this pretty frequently. Um, I guess you could consider it a beauty product, but as you can see, I have Asian eyes. Okay. My eye shape is different from like a Westerner's face. Okay. Um, so I got this, I don't remember where I got this from but I got it online somewhere and it is dirty, but it's just a eye torture device and it spr has spring in it, a spring in it. So it actually curls my lashes and keeps the lashes curled. Um, I can't, I honestly, I, I'm sorry. I don't remember where I got this from, but it was online somewhere and I feel like it actually fits my eye shape and there it came with a smaller one which I don't like to use because it makes my eye it curls my lashes too well and it makes it like them stick like straight up <laughs> and then the cool thing about it is that 
you know when you need to replace this thingy because it gets like messed up and dirty or whatever it has a spot to hold it okay so i don't have to keep track of that thing isn't that cool no it's coming out yeah okay no stop oh no okay there i fixed it okay yeah, it has a spot to hold it i like this thing um i don't know what you would look up to find that but yeah i like that product i'm sorry i don't know what it's called or where i got it i know it's called a an eyelash curler but i don't know where i got it from i'm so sorry um okay another dog thing okay look look how cute this is isn't it cute i got this from walgreens and it was 12 dollars, i think which is kind of pricey but like the dogs really like it and like it has a squeaker it has crinkles in it but the cool thing about it that I like you could use it like as a toy to like play fetch and stuff but the thing that I like about it is that you can hide little treats in here okay in the little things and I got them this for Christmas and they really loved it when I would put stuff in there and I think that it's um nice to do like nose like scent stuff for your dogs I guess um and foraging stuff for your dogs because it mentally stimulates them and it's just fun for them and it also just like is a, a different way for them to eat food i guess um but i like this guy the dogs like this guy and it, he's pretty durable okay um i can see it being torn by like a frequent chewer but which trevor used to be like that but he's not now that he's gotten older but look he's cute i love him but you can get that at Walgreens. I don't know what brand it is because I ripped the tags off because Trevor likes to rip tags off. So I cut it off. Um, okay. What else do we have? Uh, here's a random thing. Look at this. What is that thing, Lynn? Oh, you know. Um, Josh for Christmas got me a box of CBD bath bombs. And this came in there with it. And I like the CBD bath bombs. Um, but there's a specific brand that I buy which i'll show you here after but i really love that this came with it because it sometimes i don't like to have to open it with my nails and this is so much easier you just like take it like this and then you open the plastic with it and you rip it open with this claw i love it i love it what would you call this i don't know but if you are a person who likes bath bombs get one of these thingies maybe just look up like bath bomb opener okay um okay so speaking of the bath bombs, this is a product that it smells so good. Um, it's a farmhouse fresh product, which I'll show you another farmhouse fresh product in a second. I use this when I'm having like a lot of soreness or like stiffness or because I get a lot of muscle pain um, in my shoulders and neck. So when I have those moments, I will like, first of all, I'll stretch and stuff, but this really helps me. It's a CBD bath bomb and it's rosemary and mint scented. Um, so the rosemary also helps with inflammation and the mint helps with inflammation. Um, and then it has CBD, in it, CBD oil in it. And I, I find that this helps me relax and relaxes my muscles. Um, so I actually... <laughs> love this so much that I was just like I told my boss can you just order me a box of them so she did and I paid her to order a box of them for me um because I was like buying them once a month so I was like okay well I obviously love this product and I'm just gonna use it all the time so I just got a box and so I have a box of them in my room <laughs> um okay so here's another farmhouse fresh product that I use okay so I got this for free um because if you order from farmhouse fresh you get like if you reach a for certain threshold they usually like give you a free gift or whatever but um I got this for free it was like a sample size obviously because it's really little um it's called kill water and it's a weightless moisturizer and I think I actually will order this for myself because it was very hydrating and um I am trying to, I have combination skin, but I do tend to be more on the dry side. So this really helped me when I was using it. Um, cause it, it smelled really nice. It felt refreshing and it was very moisturizing. 
Um, so I'll probably use this. I'm going to order this. I'm definitely going to order this because I kind of forgot but, uh, about it until I did this video. Or until I was filming. So I'm going to have to order this. Um, I love this stuff. And then I'll probably use it in tandem with this product that I got, which is... I got this from TJ Maxx for like five or six bucks. But, well, maybe I just have the box somewhere. I don't know. But I just bought this recently. I will say I'm not like a huge fan of the scent. It smells kind of medicine-y. But um, it's a hydrating multi-balm. Hydrating multi-balm with peptide and hyaluronic hyaluronic acid. It's from this brand. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. I'm going to say it's Curette. Um, but basically how you use it is when you use hyaluronic acid, you want to use it on damp, damp skin because otherwise it can cause irritation. Um, I didn't realize this had, um, like peptides in it, which for me, sometimes it irritates my skin to have peptides. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, anyway, you use it on damp skin and then you just roll it on. So from here, you do it from your corner of your eye out and then you do it along your cheeks and basically just roll it on so you have moisture. And it has been helping a lot with my dry skin um, because I've been having really bad winter skin. Uh, so I decided that I was going to use this skin because I was watching one of my old videos and I was like, why was my skin so good? And I was like, oh yeah, I used to use hyaluronic acid every single day. So I'll have to order that kale water stuff to use with that. Um, let's go with this. Okay. This is like, let's see, is it halfway? Oh, I squeezed it and stuff's coming out. Whoopsie, close it. Okay, I wanna say it's less than halfway. Um, no, it's more than halfway done. Um, it's one of my favorite lotions and it's from Bath and Body Works. They had another one that I really like, but I don't have like the um, container for it anymore. I have been like trying to keep my empties just so I can show you like the products that I've been liking. Um, but during the move, I must have lost it. But this is really a good scent. I like how it smells. It's called Midnight Out Amber Glow. I don't know if they still have it, but it has um, shea butter and coconut oil. And it's supposed to be very moisturizing. It has vitamin E in it. Um, and then the fragrance notes are smooth amber caramel latte and vanilla bourbon and i just love the way that smells um yeah i'll put this on sometimes when i'm not feeling confident which is so weird but it just put, makes me feel like a different woman okay <laughs> i know that's dumb because it's literally just bath and body works lotion but it's like a cheap lotion but it smells good you know and it puts me in like a different mindset um okay what else what else Oh yeah, okay. So in one of my shorts recently, I showed this product and well, two of the products I showed in one of my hauls or like shorts videos, whatever. Um, and I wasn't, like I recently started using these and I actually, I wasn't sure about the hype behind the, like one of the brands, but I actually do really like it. So my sister uses this brand and also one of my friends had told me about this brand before as well so my sister and my friend both said that this product worked for them and I was like I don't know about that because um I've been using the same well I was using the same deodorant since I was like 12 years old because <laughs> okay this is gonna be gross but like when I was that age I had tried so many different deodorants and I would be so sweaty dude like I smelled horrible because I couldn't find a deodorant that worked well for me and then I found one and I was using it like I've been using it until this year and it was the secret like gel deodorant that was the only deodorant that had worked for me up until this year and for some reason I guess because I'm getting older like my hormones are changing or something because it just or they like changed their formula or something but it just stopped working for me and I started smelling horribly again 
Um, so then I tried to use a different deodorant. I tried using, uh, well, no. Then I decided, oh, let me just stop using deodorant and see if it will just correct itself. No, it didn't correct itself. And I still smelled horrible, okay? And I was like, I don't know what to do. So I started, okay, this is a long story to show you. But anyway, I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, if you don't want to hear this, just skip ahead. Um, yeah, so after that stopped working for me, I decided, okay, I'll stop using deodorant. And then obviously that didn't work for me. Um, and then, so I said, okay, well, if I'm not going to use deodorant, because I was doing nothing, I was like, let me try washing my armpits with salicy salicylic acid, because I heard that was supposed to help with like body odor. So I was doing that and I feel like it didn't do anything. Like it helped slightly. Um, and then I was like, oh my God, I stink. I need to find a deodorant that works for me. And so I was using a different deodorant, which was the Old Spice vanilla, some vanilla scent from Old Spice. And that worked for a little bit and then it stopped working and I was stinky again. <sighs> and then I tried to go back to just using the salicylic acid to see if that would help again. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop this madness. And I was like, let me just try this out. And this is it, okay? I decided to just go ahead and try and check out the hype because I knew that this was more of like an expensive brand or it could be more expensive. I mean, it's a Walmart brand, but like still, I don't wanna spend $13. How much is the full size? I don't know. This was $2 because I wanted to try it out and it's lasted me over a month. Um, it smells good and it works with like it works for me it doesn't make me stinky okay um we'll see how it does in the summer but for right now it's working really well and i probably will buy a full size of this but it's the coconut and vanilla um native deodorant i've also tried their um shampoo and their body wash i like their body wash but josh says it stinks so I don't use that all the time. Um, I am using a different soap, which is in my bathroom right now. Um, and I don't use it all the time. Like I switch between the native soap and I use this other brand, which I'm going to put a picture of it right here. It's called um, Nudie Rudy. Um, I don't know what scent it is, but it's like a natural bar soap and it smells really good. I like how it smells and it doesn't dry out my skin or anything. Um, I feel like my skin has actually been really moisturized since I've been using it. Um, but yeah, I really like that soap, which smells good. Uh, another product, I don't think I have any more random products to show you. No, I don't. Okay, so we're almost done. We only have three products left, okay? Um, so another product, skin product that I like to use are these blemish patches. Um, so this is just like a random brand that my sister gave to me one Christmas or one birthday or something that I didn't really think to use because it came in like a set, but I used it because I was like, oh, that's that thing, but like the generic brand. So, you know, how the hydrocolloid, um, am I saying that right? Hydro, yes, because I think you'd say hydrocolloidal. Hydrocolloid um, blemish patches, like there's like name brands of these, but they, they all do the same things. So this one's non-medicated though. Um, so you just put it over your pimple and then it gets the pimple out, okay? And I like it. And there's 18, pat no, there's 36 patches in this one. So thank you Sissy for getting me this on my birthday or for Christmas. I can't remember because it's a long time ago. But thank you for getting me this because I like using this when I have big old pimples, which I haven't had any big pimples recently. But when I was getting um, facials more frequently, my skin was purging and I did have more pimples. So I was using this. Um, okay, another product that's for skin that I like is, okay, um, I got this at Dollar Journal. I got a lot of stuff at Dollar Journal because we have a lot of Dollar Journals here, okay? Um, it's called, the brand is called, the brand is called Spa Scriptions, which I think that I bought these ones on clearance. 
so I don't know if they have them anymore, but I'll probably just try to find them because this one's almost empty. To be honest, I haven't been using this as much as I used to, but when I first got these, I bought like two or three of them because they were on sale and I was using them for my scalp and I feel like that they were really helping with my scalp dryness, specifically my scalp, not my hair. Like I would just put it on my scalp and it was helping with um, the dryness on my scalp. Um, but basically it's a multivitamin serum. It has vitamin B, C, E, and niacinamide. Um, so those are moisturizing and lightweight and I would just put it on my scalp to moisturize my scalp, which I need to get more of this. So I'll need to order more of this and more of this, right? Um, and then the last thing I show you has been really helping with my hair. You can't, I don't think you, can you tell? I don't know if you can tell, but it's okay. I have like a little thing there, but my hair has been very um in the past has been very dried out and um also i had a lot of flaking in from my dry scalp which this has also helped my scalp um but it's not okay so it's been helping with my scalp dryness but it's mainly i've been mainly seeing a difference in my on like my actual strands of hair rather than my scalp um, which I think that if I use this and then also get the conditioner and then also use this together, I feel like that would actually help more. Um, anyway, so this is the shampoo that I've been using and I've honestly, in the past year I've used, I've tried over five shampoos and this has been the one that's actually helped me with my scalp dryness and like my my hair being unhealthy which part of it too was that i've been i <coughs> part of it too is that i just bleach my hair so that's part of the problem but i haven't been bleaching the top of my hair just the bottom and as you see from my roots i have not been bleaching my hair recently um so i haven't really had the urge to do anything to my hair i did put pink in it anyway this is the product that I like and I love. Okay, so this product is just a moisturizing shampoo and it's specifically for dry scalp. Um, and it has squal squalane? How do I say this? Somebody tell me how I say that. I think it's squalane um, in it. And I think this was $10 for the shampoo, which to me is kind of pricey, but like it actually works. I think it might've been more expensive than that because um, anyway, so it's basically like um it's it has the squalene squalene in it it's moisturizing shampoo um it's by hair lab and it's what i love about it is that it is a customizable um hair they call it a customizable customizable hair care system but basically it's a customizable shampoo so you buy the shampoo right um and you're like okay i need it for my dry scalp and this is moisturizing so oh awesome cool but obviously like me having dry scalp i might have other issues that i want to address aside from that so you can buy just this but they have and it's not ex that expensive either you can buy these little tubes that are like two dollars and they come with two i think they're like two or three dollars but they come with two in them so there are two separate ones. So this one is um, a scalp reset, um, scalp reset um, dose. They call them doses. Um, so you put that in there. Um, and then this one is a moisture, moisture boost with vitamin B5. Okay, so you take, you open this, you open this, you put this in there and you shake it up and then it gets mixed together and then now you have a custom customized formula which is fun because it's like okay it's like a little science experiment but it's just fun and also like you feel like a scientist but it's good for what you specifically need right and you could add up to three of these so i could add another thing to this if i wanted to so i really like this brand i feel like it's legitimately helping me and it smells really good i have used several different shampoos 
like I said, in the past year and none of them actually did anything for me. They just smelled nice or looked nice, whatever. But this one is actually helping me with my moisturize, like moisturizing my scalp. Um, it's not 100% and I still do get flakes and stuff, but this has been very helpful for me. Okay, um, I think that's everything. Those are the products that I recommend. I can maybe link everything below if I can find them, find links for them. Um, and then also, yeah. If you know any good um, chopsticks, can you like suggest? Because I've been having a lot of dry li upper lip. And then, also, what else do I need you to recommend? There's another thing that I need you to recommend me, but I can't remember what it was. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video entertaining. I hope that you found this video entertaining, informative, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that important. Um, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope to be seeing more of you and that you'll be seeing more of me. Okay, bye.